Hey, Sam, it's Anthony Rose. We've got a pretty unique two-step move to show you guys today. Now, if you've ever gone out dancing leaders, you know what I'm talking about. You're leading something around the floor and something just kind of happens by accident. And it's like, how did I do that? That was really cool. That is what we're teaching you guys today. You'll like this one, so stick around. We're taking our shot, bring what you got. We're going all the way to the top. We will hear the sound of one million. All right guys, like we said just a minute ago, we just made this move up, so we don't have a name for it, so we need your help. So we're gonna demonstrate the pattern, and after we do, we want you to comment down below and tell us what we should name it. And the winner gets a prize. You get like a virtual high five. Make it or a good one. Something awesome. Now, if you're Some brand boots. new here at the channel, we post all the country dances from Two Step to West Coast Swing to Walls to Country Swing, but you can notice this little button down here, and it says subscribe. Cute. Now, if you click that button, then you become a next dancer, and you'll know when all the awesome stuff happens here on the channel. So we're gonna demonstrate it, and then you tell us what it's called. All right guys, here's what it looks like. you through this one piece at a time. And if you haven't done so already, comment down below, what should we call this thing, right? But we're gonna walk you through this one piece at a time. Now, there are some unusual things about this move, specifically with the alignments, like how are we in line with each other from one place to the next, okay? So we'll walk you through the first part. We're gonna start from a basic position and we're gonna start with the basic, but take her to the outside rail on the second slope. So we're gonna go quick, quick, slow. And on that second slow, we are curving, turning, and taking her to that outside rail. As we bring her to the outside rail, leaders, you're gonna to begin to raise the hand. She is not yet turning, okay? But we've gotta set her up, put the hand into that halo so that we can then circle around that halo. So as we step her to the outside, we go ahead and bring that hand up and rotate her body to initiate the rotation. So we have quick, quick, slow, and then we step her to the outside and begin to raise that hand. Now she's gonna go off of that momentum I just gave her, and leaders, you have to work your way all the way around to the other side, and we'll show you this hand connection in just a second, but it's gonna go quick, quick, slow, slow. All right, leaders, what I wanna do is I wanna pay attention to this hand. My hand is on her back and it's gonna stay on her back. So I'm gonna take her to the outside, but as she turns, my hand stays in that spot and I just turn my wrist over until we get to this position. All right, guys, we're gonna get back to your two-step in just a second. Before we do, if you enjoy these videos here on YouTube, you are really, really gonna like xdance.com. Click that link right there. That's xdance.com, you get a free week of that. That is the world's first interactive virtual dance training technology. Did I say that right? Yes. All right, check that out, get a free week. All right, so we have quick, quick, slow. We take her to the outside for the second slow, raising the hand, my hand stays on her back as I work my way all the way around for quick, quick, slow. I've gotta get completely out of her way and then she steps forward for one more slow. At this point, leaders, you're just gonna be walking quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow backwards. But I'm gonna take her into this wrap position where she is facing backwards too. So I'm gonna be walking backwards as she turns for quick, quick, slow, and we both step back for slow. At this point, leaders, you're walking back again, and I take her back into a hammerlock, quick, quick, slow, slow. Now you'll notice here, I've stayed on the outside. She is on the inside. That happens just, I'm moving in a straight line, giving her this path. And then from that point, we just basically allow her to pass for quick, quick, slow, slow. One point we've got to note here is the alignments here are super, super important. This is her path leaders, you have to work your way around, okay? So if you look at this from the beginning, I'm in line with her from the beginning, which means she's directly in front of me. But as we go quick, quick, slow, slow, now she's on the outside rail, I'm on the inside rail. Leaders, it is your responsibility here that as she turns, you give her that line, but I work my way around for quick, quick, slow, slow. I've worked my way all the way around her to where she's still in that line. From here, we're giving her that line again as I stay on the outside for quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, right? We'll show you that close up in a second. But from that point, we are gonna get back in line with her for quick, quick, slow, and now she's directly in front of me. I need to show you some of that hand uh, connections close up. So you notice as I do this first thing, I'm walking all the way around her for quick, quick, slow, slow. Now I've given her this path. My hand is on her back. I'm actually gonna lead just a little bit with that hand too. But as I turn her, I'm gonna turn her for an inside turn with her left hand. Her left hand is free and I'm gonna pick it up in the middle of that turn. So we're gonna go quick, quick, slow, slow. Now if she keeps her arms up, that should fall in place. Now I have both hands. So as I back her up, I just take my left hand up again. I keep moving backwards for quick, quick, slow, slow, right? From that position, I'm gonna release my right hand, which is down low. I'm gonna take the left hand over her head for a quick, quick, slow, slow. Guys, I'm gonna get a little uh, 
preachy for just a second, yeah. okay? There, there are two alignments and two steps you can have. One alignment is where one partner is directly in front of the other. The other alignment is where one partner is on the outside, one partner is on the inside. Now, usually in most scenarios, the partner on the inside is usually the leader, but that's not always the case. Now, there are some people that say, oh, the leaders are never on there. That's just complete nonsense, all right? So sometimes leaders are on the outside and they can stay there for a significant period of time depending on what they're doing, okay? So if we're in this position, we are in this alignment. What's gonna happen on that second slow is I'm taking her to that outside alignment. Now this is her path. So what I've gotta do is I've gotta make the outside the inside, yeah? So her outside, she's gonna keep in that line, but I have to work my way all the way around. She's still in that same line. I'm just outside of her a little bit. Now she's on the inside, but I'm gonna keep her there as I keep that alignment. I'm gonna keep her there for that alignment again. And then at that point, what we're aiming for is to be back in line again, which means I need to allow her to pass to get back to this. Now we could do that indefinitely. We do that a number of times, okay? You're gonna see this in competition performance when dancers are on the backside. So like if you were watching a competition and you're facing the front, when they're going this way, you won't see it as much, but we're on the backside, everything is being presented in this direction. So the alignments change a little bit, but here's what you gotta know. Two places, only two places you guys can be in relation to each other. One alignment is here. Now this alignment could be here. It's still the same alignment. It doesn't matter who's on what side. The second alignment, like if we're in a sweetheart, is one partner's on the outside, one partner's on the inside. Sometimes it's just opposite. Now, Gender you, doesn't matter here. I'll give you an example, all right? So if we do a weave pattern, she's on the outside, I'm on the inside. We keep that alignment where she's here, right? So we've got this alignment. But now we're in this alignment where she's on the inside, I'm on the outside, but we're still in that same relative to each other alignment until we go back to this one. You have two places, okay? Now there's another video here, right here. If you click that one, that gives a full breakdown. That is one of the things that are the most, absolute most overlooked things about two-step right. alignments. It's one of the things that messes people up the most. The problem is, is they just don't know that's the thing that's messing them up, okay? Yeah, it's not the sexy thing to talk about alignments, but it's usually the thing that people mess up. Yeah, here's the tough thing about being a dance teacher. You want to give people what they want, I know. but really, really, you need to give them what they need, okay? I promise I'm <laughs> this is what you need, even though the moves and the patterns and stuff are what you want, okay? So guys, we're gonna demonstrate this a few times to music. Hold if on, you guys- wait. One second, I did wanna talk about the follower's arm. Guard the girls, we say that all the time, and this one especially, Leads doing a lot of stuff, but followers, if you mess that up, it can throw this whole pattern off because he needs that to redirect you. So remember that. You gotta have it right, it's gotta be accessible, is what you're saying. Yeah. You gotta be accessible and available. Your parts, the parts he's allowed to touch gotta be available to him. All right, so guys, now we'll demonstrate the music. We'll see you guys in the next video. All right guys, we've got some bad news and we have some good news. The bad news is, is this two-step video is over. The good news is, is you've got two choices. You've got xdance.com, get a free week of that, or, or you can check out Instant Dancer down here. We'll see you guys in the next video.